Hey guys, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews, and we got one more, sorry about that, I forgot to put the mic on last time, hopefully they can still hear me. I got one more uh, packaged open, I already opened it because I was looking for something, I couldn't find it, so these are the LED solar, um, solar lights, and I got the ones that are a little bit bigger. Um, instead of the ch cheapest one so those dogs are always trying to attack people Ooh, look how big these bad boys are all right no packing slip so there's the let me look in here real quick all right, how much were these suckers? Um, okay. Naludoni Sony Outdoor Lights, 100 LED motion sensor. No, is that it? Yeah. Um, oh, it's a two-pack wireless lights. One IP65 waterproof security lights, solar powered. So they were... Um, doesn't sound right. Twenty-three ninety-nine. You get two of them for two of them are oh two of them are twenty-three. So that's not bad. Or they're twenty-three bucks a piece. You get two of them for fifty bucks. So I bought these two because they have an, instead of uh, you just put a screw right here and right there. And then boom, you got solar lights. Is that cool or what? My sister's been having a problem with that one she bought, and it like she she got it at Home Depot or Lowe's, and she'll plug it in and it'll only last like a couple hours, you know, or one or two days, and it'll quit. So I thought, you know what? These I've bought, bought in similar products before, and they've always worked. I put them on my shop, and it's been like four or five years, and they still work. So I was like, you know what? For the price and the simplicity of it, and not having to run wires, and um, these are a lot brighter because the ones I have are like smaller. So this, you could put one or two in the front yard and, you know, on your house, and it should be plenty of light to, you know, just to get in the garage and get in your house. So, and then whatever is left, I don't use. I'll, I'll take to the shop. So, anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them. Um, it comes with um, some anchor screws and some drywall anchors and some little tiny screws. And then it comes with that little tiny pin. Well, you have to take like a little needle or something and hit that, hit that little um, on-off button inside. But I think what would be the best thing to do is mount these and let them um, sit outside for a day and let the batteries charge all the way up before you use them. That that's, seems would be a good idea. I don't know if it says that on the instructions or not, but it seems like that would make sense. Here's the instructions in every language. French, Italian, Japanese, Spanish. So I'll start with the English version. <laughs> All right. Make sure the solar light is installed in a place where, of course, it gets direct sunlight. It takes... Um, Charge around eight hours in daytime with, without any shelter. Um, 125 degrees of sensor, uh, about 15 feet. Um, it'll sense and it'll turn on around 30 seconds. So I don't think there's any, there's no way to change that, I don't think. So they're just on and off. They don't stay on for a great length of time shows how to install the um, <clears throat> anchors if you have brick wall um, before using when activating the solar light please take off the transparent film um, then to charge the solar light placing it under direct sunlight for eight hours to obtain the best results um, install with the screws test method unlock the product charge the light by direct sunlight for eight hours cover the solar panel with with your hand if the light is on, the product is working. So just basic, um, you just cover this, I guess. Or wait, what does it say? 
This is for the sensor. Um, maybe you cover, anyway, you cover something up. Maybe cover this up. <laughs> cover something up to where it, it works. So maybe you can put like a something over the top of it and it'll work. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. There's the model number and brightness and uh, battery and all that. I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. If I really like it, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll do a, another video in a week or two and uh, see how much light they put off. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll basically turn one on without charging it. And then I'll basically uh, maybe leave a couple charged up and see if there's a big difference, if it even matters. Because, I mean, it's going to charge up eventually, right? It's probably best to do it first, but I don't, I don't think it'll hurt it too much if you... Uh, turn it on early you need the light plenty of sun out today if I get my button gear I can get out here and install them and get a, get a few hours of sunlight so all right thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one